Have you ever found a stock that you thought, this would be a great opportunity to take a bullish trade in it, but it looked a little bit risky? You want to take advantage of a potential rebound, but you want to do it in a safe way. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use risk reversals to line yourself to take advantage of potentially big up moves in stock while also greatly decreasing your risk. To help you see how to trade risk reversals in the right way, I'm going to share with you the four step process I go through when I trade risk reversals. First, as many of you know, I only like to trade in what I consider solid, mature, consistently profitable companies. Global Payments, ticker symbol GPN, is a company that fits that description. In fact, it's one of the companies I believe was undervalued when I started the risk reversal position I'm about to talk you through. Back on November 18th, I saw that GP was in a position where I believed it might be about to take off. It was a company I believe was undervalued. It was a very solid, mature, consistently profitable company. So it fit my step one when it comes to trading and risk reversals. Here you see some notes I've made for you in this little box on November 28th when I initiated this risk reversal position. At that time, GPM was trading for about an 11 blended P to E. However, as you see here, over its history, we're talking 5, 10, 15, 20 years, it generally trades in the 18 to 21 P to E. So potentially, according to my math and the various metrics I checked, I believed it was about 39% undervalued. So step one looked good. Now it's time to move on to step two. That is to wait for the technicals to line up in our favor to place a higher probability trade. The problem as you see here is that over its recent history, GPN has just experienced an over 21% decline. So I knew there was the possibility for it to come back down and decline even further or to retest those previous lows. But as you see here, it also recently made a new higher low. In fact, on the day we did this trade, it had made two higher lows, but the previous wave's high was just barely higher than the one before it. So the high wasn't really confirming a change in direction from a bearish to a bullish trend. Because of that, I believe that GPM was still in danger of potentially running into some resistance, which would push the stock back down in price. So I wanted to give myself some room to be wrong and still potentially win with this trade. I decided this was the perfect opportunity to use a risk reversal. So here you see the trade alert I sent out to my patrons as soon as we did this trade. With GPN trading around $114 per share, I sold the January of 2026 $85 cash per put option. That option expired in a little over two years from the day that I traded it. I used that cash to more than pay for the call option I bought, which was the January 2026 180 call option. As you see here, when we did that trade, we put a net of 30 cents per share minus commission into our pocket. We also did a shorter time frame option trade by selling the 105 cash care put option for 87 cents per share. That option expired right at two months later. We're not gonna focus on the short term option, we're gonna focus on the risk reversal. So we put 30 cents per share into our pocket for entering this trade. Now it's important to keep in mind what your risk is here. Remember, GPM was trading for around $114 per share when we did this trade. We sold the $85 cash care put option that expired in a little over two years from the date that we did the trade. So our risk is that GPN were to go down or maybe even way below that $85 strike price, we end up having to buy GPN at $85 per share. Since I believe the company is already undervalued by around 39%, I'd be totally happy buying it at an even better price or $85 per share over the next two years. Now keep in mind that anything could happen. Things could really change the GPN during that time. That's why I'm being paid to sell that put option. But I like GPN when I did the trade and I liked it over the long term when our research is history. So I felt comfortable placing a potentially longer term trade in GPN. Now before I show you how this trade turned out, let me talk through what you could do if the trade went against you. Let's say GPN went way down in price. What could you do to protect yourself with this $85 cash care put option? Well, you could take assignment. You could buy the stock at $85 per share. You'd be buying it at a tremendous discount even more than we could buy it on the day that we did this trade. Or you could look to adjust that cash care put option to more in your favor by rolling the $85 strike price down as you rolled it out in time. So there are some things you can do to help repair a position that's gone against you if that were to happen. However, that's not what happened to us. As you see here, over the next few months, GPN went up over 20% from $114 per share to around $137 per share on the day that we adjusted this trade. So it went our way. How do we adjust this position to take all of our risk off the table, pocket some profit, and still line us up to potentially have an even bigger win down the road? Here you see the trade we did to adjust this position about two months after we entered it. We took all of our risk off the table by buying to close that January of 2026 $85 cash care put option. And we paid for that put option by selling the January of 2026, that same expiration day, $200 call option. As I mentioned to my patrons, we still owned the 180 call option. So by selling that $200 call option, we had turned it into a spread. When we bought that put option back and sold the new call option against it, we pocketed an additional $2.85 per share. 
But the kicker is that we still have a potential profit down the road of $20 per share. Remember, we owned the 180 call and we sold the $200 call. So we could potentially make the difference, which is $20 per share. In just a minute, I'm going to show you where we're at with this overall position. But I just want to recap the process we go through when it comes to trading risk reversals. Step one is to pick companies that are solid, mature, and consistently profitable that appear to be ready to go up in price. The bigger the potential move, the better. Step two is to check your technical indicators. Make sure they're lining up for a potential big move in your favor. Then sell an out of the money lease put option. The farther out of the money, the better because it gives you more protection and use that cash to buy an out of the money call option. Step three considers what you'll do after you place that initial trade. If the stock declines, then you can either adjust the short put option sometime in the future or just take ownership of the stock at the strike price of the put option you sold. However, if the stock goes up, like it did in our case, then you can just close the position for a profit whenever it's reached your profit target, or you can take your risk off the table by buying that put option back to close it out and pay for it by selling a call option above the strike price of the call that you still own. That'll turn the position into a spread and give you the opportunity to get an even bigger win down the road. And finally, close the position out when it either reaches your profit target or when it appears that upper momentum is beginning to slow down and possibly reverse to a down move. Now let me share with you where we're at with this position. Remember, we closed out our risk by buying to close that January of 2026 $85 put option. We had a net profit of $165 for that put option position. We then sold that $200 January 2026 call option. So currently, we own the 180 call and we've sold a 200 call that expired in January of 2026, and that's a little less than two years from now. So right now we're at a profit of just over $312 for this overall position. And we've taken all of our risk off the table. Remember, we only had a risk for the two months that we sold the put option. So not only are we guaranteed to pocket $312, but we also have the potential of making another $20 per share or $2,000 on a very low risk, potentially high reward position. If structured properly, Risk reversals can be a type of option trade you place that lines up for potentially big wins while also greatly decreasing what you have at risk in that trade. It gives you a large margin for error, but also a potential for a large win. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we buy stock or sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. Selling leaps or longer term put options can be a great way to consistently generate monthly cash flow for your retirement income. If you'd like to see how to sell those leaps put options for that safe, consistent income, check out the video at the link above in the description below entitled, Retire Stress-Free, The Power of Leaps Put Options. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.